is officially in Wisconsin and now may be in our area. That's right. Three cases of the H1N1 virus were confirmed. They are confirmed, and there are now 66 cases listed as probable here in Wisconsin. And according to the state health department, there is now one probable case in northeast Wisconsin, Winnebago County. The numbers have some area officials on alert and others making some changes. Fox 11's Cameron Clark has the story. With two of the state's confirmed swine flu cases in Milwaukee County, some area churches are changing sacred practices for safety. We're only going to be giving out the, the, the Eucharist in the form of the, uh, the bread. In addition to putting away the communal cup at St. Adelbert's Parish, those handing out communion will be required not only to wash their hands, but use hand sanitizer. We're going to avoid giving out the sign of peace in the form of physically touching people. I suggest that people just give the peace sign or a different sign other than touch. That should uh, uh, alleviate some of the people's uh, hesitancy from coming together in the church. To this point, the Green Bay Catholic Diocese has not required any changes to communion, but has sent out an alert to all of its parishes about the virus. At Austin Shovel Airport, the outbreak was enough for Kathy Nash to make some adjustments for her trip down south. As far as the Atlanta airport goes, I'm a little worried because that's a large airport. But I just brought along some hand sanitizer, and my daughter is a pharmacist, and she's insisting I wear a mask on the plane, but I don't feel that that's necessary. Airport security has also started monitoring the physical signs of people passing through. If a TSA agent notices someone who appears sick, they can offer them help, which may include a mask or possible testing. Airport management says if that person declines help, security can still notify the airline that person is flying on, who would then have the option to board that person or not. They've also put up placards in all the bathrooms at Austin Straubel with sanitation reminders. Brown County health officials said last week they are being cautious and are preparing for cases in our area. If a school or daycare would close, extracurricular activities would also likewise be closed for that respective school. While officials prepare for cases to spread, they say you should have a plan too in case of any closings that might affect you. Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. Now, there have been more than 400 tests submitted for the swine flu here in Wisconsin. In addition to the three confirmed cases and the 66 probable cases, there are still several dozen tests that are awaiting results.